Welcome to Physicom channel. Today we will introduce how to configure the BP-108 for basic use. BP-108 is an innovative IP67 waterproof Bluetooth beacon with Bluetooth 5.1 specifications. It has FCC, CE, IC, Telex certifications and simultaneously supports iBeacon, Eddystone, e.g. URL, UID, TLM, AltBeacon for broadcasting and provides the ability to advertise up to 10 slots of advertising frames. BP-108 adopts DA14531 chipset vibration and LED, which is a super low power chip. This chip endows a up to 6-year battery life to the beacon. BP-108 has multiple version to select, G-sensor or button switch for broadcasting, vibration or LED for showing state, and built-in NFC chip for near-field communication by NFC device. And color, logo, hardware, software to BP-108 can be customized. The iOS and Android Fiasi Beacon SDK can be downloaded from www.fiasicom.com. Meanwhile, Fiasi Beacon SDK compiled app is available to download from both the iOS and Android platform. Search Fiasi Beacon to download. How to set the beacon? Following are some tips. Prepare BP-108 and smartphone. Start FeasyBeacon app. FeasyBeacon app would get the broadcast from Beacon Around. Choose BP-108 for example. You can view the RSSI, UUID, URL information. If you need to configure the beacon, choose BP-108 enter the password 0000000. In this page, you can configure the beacon as you need like name, intervals, TLM, pin code, TX power, key, UUID, add enable or delete the iBeacon. For example setting URL input http colon slash slash google.com. Setting interval input 1500. Setting a beacon for example, change a beacon 1 UUID last 5 number to 88888. After saved and back to the beacon page, app will receive new broadcast from the beacon. Now app can receive new a beacon, test 1500 milliseconds interval. Click the link will automatically transfer to the browser and open the website. For more BP-108 detail, please check the BP-108 Bluetooth module datasheet. For more BP-108 configuring detail, please check FIAZI Beacon Getting Started Guide. This video mainly introduces how to configure BP-108. Thanks for watching.